Well, there seem to be two things going on this morning and late at night last night. Uh, there have been attacks using S-300 missiles, which are actually supposed to be surface-to-air missiles, but the Russians have been using them as surface-to-surface -surface weapons. They've got a range of about 400 kilometers, and they have been fired on the cities or surrounding areas of Zaporizhia and Kharkiv from, in the case of Kharkiv, Russia itself, and in the case of Zaporizhia, the Russian-controlled part part of Zaporizhia region. And it's been a record number of strikes, certainly on Zaporizhia. I believe 17 missiles hit essentially infrastructure targets. And in Kharkiv, it was um, 12 or 13 missiles. And that means that several um, pieces of infrastructure in Kharkiv and Zaporizhia have been hit. And there are power cuts, of course, in those cities and elsewhere in the country, because there are also long range rocket attacks going on. Well, we've also heard that there have been uh, reports of explosions there in the capital. What's happening where you are? Yes, these are the long-range attacks using cruise missiles and also, I think, the Iranian-made uh, Shahid drones. The explosions that were heard in the capital, the city authorities are saying that according to preliminary information, that was the sound of air defenses working and the missiles were shot down. But fragments fell on a residential building in the southwest of the city and also damaged a car there. That's according to the mayor of Kiev, Vitaly Klitschko. Elsewhere, though, in the country, including in the far west, in ivano frankivsk region, also in Melnitsky region in the west of the country, there have been reports of missiles hitting their target, also in Odessa in the south. So this is another one of those massive strikes, I think, that we're experiencing today. And already Ukrainergo, the main electricity company, has said that several um, objects of electricity infrastructure have been hit, and they are putting in place uh, the regime of emergency power cuts uh, in order to stabilize the system.